Hello, everybody, and this is another video of Tony up my own dude dragons. But this time, though, there's another character. So let's get into this. Ah, <sighs> oh, no, no more deceptions. I know the truth, man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> forgot. Anyways, you're back. Okay, right now, just going. We're going to be talking about about three dragons from where I am right now, and and one of them which I would never dare go to where it really lies. Anyways, the first one we're going to be talking about is the giraffe mimic. Mimic, and where I think the giraffe mimic is. Anyways, the giraffe mimic has a long neck and horns like a giraffe. Duh, because it's a giraffe mimic, but also has wings. However, what I find unique is the horns. They are actually ossicones. The name of the things on giraffes. The horns on giraffes are called ossicones or something like that. Anyways, also have a blue color just like the wing membranes brains on this creature anyways anyways this creature so mostly eats trees and who I think is this creature a person called Mac whose parent that need that he very good at farming broccoli which is basically smaller trees and I get to see the resemblance when she's always wearing a pajama but that looks like a giraffe like no no nope no way that's it looks like a giraffe boom goes in giraffe uh, okay now so yeah Our next dragon again, is a bit of a creature that terrifies people. The white yellow, it yells. Yells and someone like a crow does. I have yet to pinpoint who this dragon is, but there's candidates. Trust me. But it seems like it has a relationship with the spiked dragon on that data. But anyways, this creature, however has a unique issue about it. Don't. It doesn't go near mustard. It's almost like it's a nightmare fuel, which is why they, most of the people just have fake mustard near their cities in case this dragon comes nearby. The mustard would scale this creature. And this is a diurnal animal when we're talking about. So, that's where we give you questions. The spiked dragon is in fact the most unique dragon. I have yet to also pinpoint down which one, but trust me on that, I have a very strange feeling it's the only the, the, the person in this town that's, that dies so whole hell blue. The only girl that does that, I believe. Anyways, maze is in fact one of the more odd dragons it has a bit of spikes jutting out of it but only at the top but it has a carpet of spikes it's almost like hail for this dragon dragon and the unique thing about this dragon is that it only looks at treasure doesn't steal it at all just looks at it at it and sometimes say a heart of the sea or something along those lines anyways anyways i'm not too sure but anyways this this is actually kind of unique for a dragon again yeah. our next one this one resides in a different world unfortunately not like it belongs on another island or is on the mainland like it's in a, a different world, known as the Queen of Halloween. No, no. I was the first time I actually tried looking for the dragon. I failed Ugh. horribly, and I don't want to go back to look for that dragon in case I become its next 
victim. The Queen of Halloween has a story for it. It it was once a normal Halloween spirit. Spirits of Halloween mean that that at some point all which go near or, or some will kneel kneel but always have some kind of odd connection with a Halloween tavern for of some kind. And and well see see acts and a little a teenager girl who just said first time ever looking at well, the king of Halloween so far, uh, uh, aka a version of Slender Man, uh, it just says la la la, just cheering on for it. But little did they know, little does she know or they know, know that she accidentally summoned two, 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 not Halloween spirits, but creatures. Just in a way, a person in what I assume to be an in-between form of a person and an ice dragon. Anyways, they adopted her, or teach her everything that they know, even the forgotten powers of of her line, of her legacy line, <laughs> which she she does indeed now use them. Them. However, though, just in the blink, however, though, for them, for the people who are watching, thing, thing going nuts, thing nuts, which included Slender Man, man, she then randomly appeals just 10 seconds later, challenging him for a fight that only to her is to the death. And she does, and then she did fight him. However, though, his kill count is, well, small, to say, but hers includes him but as a part of it, and there's more to it. Anyways. Anyways. It, she was able to somewhat beat him at close combat but he was able to at least get far away and do much more far combat however though this only made her mad she then said you think i'm just a small person you think i'm able to just fall for that no no i say as transforming into a dragon then transforming into a dragon of terrifying looks, fine looks, and pummeled him to death. However, though it in in attacked Slender Man and literally to pound him nearly to death's door. However, though it takes his life before for spiting it, and what I can only assume its own tongue, you're finishing him off. Oof. With when the with when the queen of Halloween opened her mouth, 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 Slender Man's head was full of holes in some parts of his body as well. Yeah. However, she then announced herself as the new person and had at least three different forms. Survival say had the first form, which is actually actually pretty and cute they say yeah but then we had the second form which is in fact the, the same form before she became the queen by killing the slender oh man oh man oh savage form her head duck down with straight up hair blocking her sight but she was able to see the victim or victims, and if that doesn't work, well, there's always the dragon form, which the survivors describe as having one ring, but two of them at the same time, and body almost like that of a 
of a large blue tongued lizard of some kind, and its tongue was the most horrifying part. It's able to split into millions of pieces, pieces while still being connected to the main part. Part millions of spikes that it then uses to sink itself into to other to its victims or other people. Well, 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 who there go against her? But people who also reported never survived. However, though, except for John Lawson, and who. Was even able to survive the second encounter, which was in her first form. But she draw a sword right at his neck, but was almost ready to cut his head off. Although he was able to escape and survive. But, and now, well, that's his new name from his old name, and now new luck. And now, though, well, well after she. He fully took over Halloween. Jump scales, scales, storm the night. Give Halloween, Halloween only the the safest night to be out. And when they start getting bored of them, them and more confident, confident, they soon they'll start doing them during the day. And even if those won't work, they soon later had. The hunt, which is unfortunate, which most of her victims are from. She sometimes lures in victims, while other times, finds the other house. Halloween spirits do do the hunts. Hunts can range about to free people. People, those are the survivors count. The real count, however, is one hundred, and only three of them would be able to escape and survive through the whole thing. The showing thing, the real terror well, of Halloween is this dragon, this creature, which I have yet to really see for myself, but. Can only guess how it looks. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Yes, this is another note. Hello, though. I like to say something, and that's in unique in a way. That is, so far I do have maps, but they so far have no connection at all because my main map, map play and has failed. Sorry, I'm sorry, but anyways, I still have some maps and some add-ons on the mod. Of mods, yeah. I feel like you needed to know that, I'm sorry. Me, I'm... Me, and... This is just, this is a sound, but I will mostly do variants for the next episode or thing. But all that you need to know is the fact that I'm putting effort into these.